talk in the locker room to bounce back from Saturday and then head into a big game on the road on Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, you just don't have time to, to sulk, right? I mean, it's the Big 12, so you've got to get back up, get refocused, and, and uh, you know, we got to give OU our best shot. So um, it's just been a lot of, um, you know, what did we do well and, and what can we do better? Um, and, and, and just how can we attack Oklahoma and, and, and get a win? You know, I, th I think that we match up well with them. Uh, we played them well the last time we played them. It's been a while. Um, but if we can just eliminate a couple of possessions uh, that were empty or, or defensive lapses, I think that, um, that we can, you know, have a great game and, and come out with a victory. And then speaking of Oklahoma, I guess, what do they look like this time around, I guess, over the past couple of weeks since the last time you played them? What are they doing so well that you guys need to put a hole to right away? Yeah, they're very experienced. Um, you know, they have everybody back from last year. They shoot the ball really, really well. They're playing very free and, um, and fast. And then they put up a lot of points. Um, and, and they share the basketball. They've got a lot of different people, um, you know, scoring it. So they do pose a problem as far as uh, just getting to shooters. I mean, they all can score. So you've got to really be able to get to them on the three-point line, yet not allow too many lane line drives. That That's hard to do, you know, whenever you have to have your help be able to get out to three-point um, shooters as well. I think one of our biggest um, focuses will be on their transition offense. Um, we've got to get them slowed down initially because they really like to play fast and we're going to have to really uh, communicate and sprint down the floor um, after makes or misses um, to be able to get to their shooters. Um, you mentioned that you guys wanted to focus on what you guys did well and bring that into OU on Wednesday. What specifically did you guys do really well that you want to carry that over to against the shooters? You know, I thought that we um, defended pretty well for the most part. You know, I think we had trouble with their big um, against KU, but I felt like we – um, did a decent job and kept them off the boards. Um, I thought also offensively, I thought we executed really well and and uh, and we had you know our seniors. I thought really stepped up and and scored the ball well um, and gave us a, an opportunity to win. Uh, it feels like forever ago now that you guys have played uh, OU back here. What's the maybe biggest improvement that you guys have seen on tape so far from OU that they've made from the game that you guys played against them to now? Um, I, again, I just think that they, they shoot the ball really well. You know, I think that they um, are being really consistent and, and their shooters are getting in a groove and they don't get bogged down on just trying to get one player a shot. They've got a lot of different weapons and I think they just do a really good job of, of like I said, just playing free and, and playing fast and uh, there's not a lot of sets to guard. It's more of just being able to apply your rules and, and defend people a lot of times one on one. On the other side of that coin, I guess, what's the most improvement that you guys have seen between that last OU game to now? Uh, I do think our defense is better. You know, at times I do think our defense is better, and I think um, that our kids are figuring out, um, you know, how to execute game plans. I think that there's some specifics that we've been trying to to do this the second time around um, to try to tweak the first time that we played them, and I think our kids are paying attention to those um, to those details and, and trying to execute it to the best of their ability. Uh, out of all the players that have seemed to develop between now and then, too, Bryn seems to be really coming into her own down this final stretch of the Big 12 schedule. Is it just chalking it up to having maybe a, you know her finger on the trigger a little bit more with these extra shots, or what's been the secret to her success lately? I think she's um, playing with a lot of senior urgency. I think that that she really understands, um, you know, the the importance of every game and how difficult it is. And I think she's being a great senior leader. I think she knows that, um, you know, the seniors are the ones that really need to step up and they need to try to, you know, bring those young kids along with them as, as much as possible. And she is shooting the ball really well. Um, and, and hopefully she'll continue to do that. And I think that, um, that our team is, is really finding her in some spots to get her some open looks as well. But her confidence is, is really good right now. Coach, you alluded to it earlier, but I mean, OU, they're coming in just over nine three-pointers made a game, 87 points a game. When you have Kansas last, uh, you know, in, in the last game getting 42 points inside, how big of a transition is that within just a few days from a team who's very dominant in the paint to now that you got to cover outside? <laughs> right. Yeah, it's hard. It's it's hard. That's what the Big 12 is, though. The matchups are really different, and, and there's a lot of different styles um, to defend. But yeah, our mindset's definitely going to have to um, be out, uh, you know, playing defending outside in instead of inside out, like it was against KU, and, and we didn't do a great job of that, but. Um, but I think that um, our kids have had success against OU before. I think they really understand how fast they want to play. Um, and that transition defense is really going to be the key to that. Andrew? Coach, you talked about how 
just your defense has improved lately with as good as a rebounding team as OU has been lately. Are we going to see like a bigger lineup to kind of neutralize the rebounding from OU? You know, I think that we're going to have to throw some different lineups out there, but the problem with OU is that their bigs um, are guards, and so it's difficult for us to defend them on the perimeter if we if we play really big. I mean, I think there'll be some times that we can do that and and that we need to, um, to you know, kind of expose that for them a little bit by going inside and scoring it if we can. Um, but the defense the, – the defense side of it is going to be a difficult matchup for us um, playing our bigs against their guards who are shooting the three so well. And then Maddie Williams, how do you feel about going up against her now um, in, in between uh, the last matchup? Yeah, I, I, obviously Maddie's a really great player and poses a difficult matchup for us, but I think that our kids will really buy into our defensive game plan, and, and I think that we will try to limit her touches as much as possible, and uh, which is a lot easier said than done. But, um, yeah, we've, we can't let her have easy opportunities. We've got to make her really have to work for, for her points. Coach, at this point in the season, it's a grind, really, to get to the end of the finish line of the Big 12, but also to the Big 12 tournament is coming up as fast, faster than we when the, it'll be here before we know yeah. it, really. I guess, what's the message to the girls in the locker room just to make sure they're taking care of their bodies on and off the court, schoolwork at this point when it's you know, everything, every game matters at this point. Yeah, we, um, you know, I'm going to give them three words today that, that I really want them to concentrate on um, for the next couple of weeks and then also into the tournament. And it's um, health and unity and mission focused. And if we can, I guess that's four words, but if we can stay, um, you know, stay healthy. So they've got to do a good job of, of taking care of their bodies and getting extra treatment and things like that. And then if we can stay unified, um, even through some difficult times and adversity, and then um, stay mission focused, you know, and our mission is is to finish strong each game. We, we know we have a chance to win, position ourselves as best we can for the conference tournament, which then um, will help us position for postseason. Anything else, guys, before we let Coach go? All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Coach.